have an idea in your mind of something you want, and you deserve to get it. So how do you get there? Well, welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to helping you overcome frustration and make what you want a reality. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, high school teacher turned entrepreneur. Now I'm a business development coach. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, overwhelmed, or lost. Every week, I share topics, tools, and strategies to help you move toward that thing you want. Create time and energy to do the things you love, get clarity on what you really want and how to get there, and most importantly, stop feeling alone with your challenges. Whether you've wanted to create a better business, job, relationship, hobby, or self, I know there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it with confidence and clarity. Ready to have it? Let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Idea Space podcast, a place to make room for the dreams that you've got for yourself and the tools to make them real. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and today I'm talking about how to attract more clients this month. Now, if you haven't figured out how to attract clients into your business, it's not your fault because there's a lot of, oh my God, are you seriously freaking doing that? Marketing tactics out there that you're probably avoiding. So much so that some people tell me they'd rather stay stuck where they are than grow a business because they hate marketing that much. Now, I want you to understand, I feel this so very much. Let's flash back to five years ago. I was sitting in the parking lot of my chiropractor listening to yet another marketing podcast. And the host guy, he's a brilliant marketer. He makes it all sound so easy, like anyone can do it. And the whole podcast is all about all the things that you can do to market yourself. And he's like rattling them off like it's the alphabet. And the more I listen, the more jammed up I get because obviously this marketing thing is just so easy, but I'm just clearly too damn stupid to get it. Because if I could get it, I wouldn't be so overwhelmed by it. Because brilliant marketing dude, he's just all laid it out there in an easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of way. And then out of nowhere, I'm literally sitting in my car. I start sobbing because I think, no, 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 you just don't understand, brilliant marketing dude. This may be for everyone, but it's not for me. I can't do this. I kept thinking, you know, this kind of marketing genius stuff is for other people, but I'm not other people. I am particularly stupid when it comes to this stuff. Wow. Like I definitely went there. And I pulled my shit together before going in to see my chiropractor. But here's the big thing that I didn't understand about myself at the time. A big reason that we don't take action on something that we want so much is that we don't believe we can actually be different than we currently are right now. We think like, sure, sure, that program will work for someone else. That podcast will help a different person. But me, I'm a marketing loser. I don't get this stuff. It's too hard. Like, that's what we do to ourselves. And that was what was seriously going on in my head at the time. So this is exactly why even though you know you need to put good, clear, valuable messaging, content, and copy into the world to grow your business, you just don't want to. You just don't freaking want to. You think, oh, let other people create content. But me, no, I'm not going to create content. I'm just going to suffer here until the next word of mouth referral walks in. I'm going to just keep trying my be on Facebook all day, posting in every group strategy. Instead of just doing the really hard thing and believing in yourself that you could do this, you could become a content creator. You could learn to do marketing in a way that works for you. So welcome to humanhood where our brains run the show and we sometimes need a kick in the pants to get out of our own way. And here's your kick in the pants for today wrapped in a warm hug. Your audience needs content from you. They need to know that you're an expert and that you've got the chops to help them. But to believe that you can help them, you've got to help them up up front with your highly valuable content. It's a noisy world and you need content that develops a relationship with them. I don't care if it's a blog or a podcast, videos, freebies, workshops, social media, email, whatever it is, you've got to get your brilliance out into the world. But here's the problem. Your brain, like mine, is running a lot of stories that you're probably unaware of. Stories like, who am I to be saying this stuff? There are so many experts out there already saying it. 
No one wants to hear what I have to say. The world's so noisy. Why add to it? That was my big story. Another story that I hear from my clients, I don't want to bother people. So I'm just going to hide here and complain because I'm not making more money. Thank you very much. But I just don't want to bother people. And that's a big story, right? The other thing I hear is, oh, writing content takes so much time. I don't know what to say. I'm not good at writing. That's another big story that I hear. And then another story I don't hear as much anymore, but it's still a story that's out there is why should I give my stuff away for free? I worked hard to know this stuff. If I give it all away, why would people pay me? And those are four very big, important stories. And I want you to just become aware of your story so that you know where the breakdown is and why you're not creating content. Because remember, awareness is the number one thing for us overcoming a challenge. The other thing that happens is sometimes people try using templates, but they feel phony or inauthentic, like it's not your voice and it doesn't feel genuine. And that's that's fair. Templates might not work for you. And then sometimes people just are like, fine, I'll hire somebody, somebody to write my website, somebody to do my marketing. But they find that those people never seem to get it right. And you wonder, why am I never happy with this? Because it just doesn't sound like you. And here's the bottom line, my friend. You need to have your own voice and your own content that jives with your brand before you can hand it over to someone else. And you know what? You can get that done. You can become a content creator. The first step is recognizing what your story is. The second step is believing that it's possible because I'm telling you that story at the beginning of the podcast where I was sitting in the car crying, I'm not making that up. I did not believe I would ever be able to be on a podcast or ever do marketing. And if I can learn to love marketing, I swear to God, anybody can. So that's why I've taken everything I've learned since that moment in the car crying over the past five years and created a workshop for you. It's a two-day online intensive. It's called the Customized Content Solution. It's to help you create good content for your audience, the people who need to hear from you most. It'll help you be more consistent. It'll help you be more relatable. I'll be honest. Content creation is not the sexy part of building a business, but it does provide a huge return on investment if you do it in integrity with who you are and you do it with consistency. The reason? It keeps you top of mind with the people who need to hear from you using the language and the ideas that they need to hear. So in this workshop, you're going to walk away with a bank of foundational personalized content. There are no templates. There is no plug and play things like you were going to go through and help you create your content in a group setting. And you're going to be able to get in a hot seat with me and I can give you feedback right there on your content. So let's, let's wrap this up. Yes, it's possible that content creation doesn't have to have you sitting in your parking lot, in the car, listening to a podcast, sobbing. If you invest in the True Day Workshop, you're going to invest not only in your business, but also in yourself because good content is needed everywhere. So this won't be offered again until the fall. And right now it's at a first timer price. I'm running it for the first time. I want to see how it goes. Just go to jenliddy.com forward slash solution. And if nothing else today, just think, spend a few minutes thinking about which part of growing your business you just don't quite believe you can do yet. It might not be content creation. It might be sales. It might be something else. But I want you to think about how different life will be when you overcome your stories and you get there. Believe it. I promise you. If you can't believe it for yourself right now, let me believe it for you. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks for staying all the way through. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more free tools and video trainings at www.jenliddy.com slash free sources. That's F-R-E-E sources. If you found this podcast helpful, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and gave a review. And if you have a friend who'd benefit from today's topic, tool, or strategy, please share the Idea Space podcast with her. That way, together, we can help more women achieve their dreams and take action on their ideas. Isn't it time we all were able to get what we want? Join me next week, and remember, right now, all you need to do to make your idea a reality is take the very next step you know how to. Bye!